Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Everyday Rucker. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the infamous Go Ruck Rucker bag. Uh, this one here is a 3.0. We're gonna go over the differences of the 3.0 and the 4.0 so you can make an educated decision. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into the bag and check it out. All right guys, let's go ahead and dive into this bag. So what you're looking at right now is a Rucker 3.0. I am gonna go over the differences while we go over and review this bag. The 3.0 and the current 4.0 are very, very similar. There's a few differences though. So I kinda wanna go over each of them and give you my honest opinion. So again, this is a thousand Kandura, uh, which is the fabric uh, material. A thousand is the highest that Go Ruck makes. They also make a 500 and a 210. So this is the back of the bag. The 3.0 and the 4.0, starting with the 3.0, added this reflective stripe on it. Now, one feature, and we'll dive into this, that the 3.0 has and the 4.0 doesn't, is it has this outside pocket here. Uh, the 4.0, they got rid of it. Uh, I wish they would bring it back. Uh, I love this pocket. So if you're looking for this, look for a 3.0 on the aftermarket. Uh, now this is a 25 liter. You can kind of tell because it has these three rows of Molly right here. Uh, they also make this in, I believe, a 20 liter, 21 liter. Uh, this is the 26. So uh, that's the front and the outside of the bag. Let's go over a few more things here. On the bottom uh, of the 3.0 and the 4.0, they both have drain ports. And then all of the ruckers, this is really what makes them a little bit different. They have four handle attachments. They have one in the bottom, one on each side, and then one at the top of the bag here. Um, so that's, that's kind of the outside of the bag. Uh, now flip it over is where you're gonna see uh, some kind of cool stuff. So uh, ignore all my attachments on here. I'll dive into that. There will be links in the description. The back of the Rucker panel is their newer 210. They just switched the GR series bags to the same back material. Uh, it's less um, durable as the 1000 and the 500. It's more of a slick feeling. It's easier to clean. Uh, I think it makes your back breathe a little bit better. The big reason they did this is one, so you can rock without a shirt. It's non-abrasive, so it won't tear up your shirts or your skin. And it's just a little bit more comfortable to rock in. Uh, and then down here in this bottom, you can kind of tell it's lifted and elevated a little bit. Uh, that's a little bit of like lumbar support, so it pushes against your back. Um, so these are some kind of cool features. You'll start seeing them more. Um, you will see reviews online about the new GR series and this not being as durable and it could tear or it looks bad over time. This has probably got well over 500 miles on it. Um, it looks really good and scars and go ruck have a lifetime warranty. So if you do damage the back of the bag, uh, don't worry about it. So also you've noticed on the bag, I have these hip belts here. Uh, these are an add on. They do not come with the bags. Uh, they retail on the go ruck site for about $30. And when you attach them, they attach here with uh, side molly. So it just really slides in. You kind of interweave it throughout these loops here. And that's what attaches your hip belt. This is really good in my opinion. If you're carrying over like 35 pounds of weight, 45 pounds, it's really nice to get the, the weight off your shoulders. Uh, I never take these off. This is not my everyday carry bag. This is just my rucking bag. So these stay on here pretty permanently. Something else about Go Ruck. Um, as you can see on the bottom here, it's still made out of the 510 material. Uh, this is a lot better and it's really cushiony versus other bags. So if you go to Amazon and you're like, I don't want to invest the money, I'll be fine with the $25 bag, um, you won't. If you get one of those really cheap bags, you ruck with 45 pounds, your shoulders are gonna be crying by the end of it. Uh, Go Ruck, uh, they did a wonderful job with these straps. It's very comfortable to carry a lot of weight. And then a couple feature items, I'll have reviews on each one of these, some of them I already have. Uh, this here is a magnet bladder retainer. These are ruck straps, uh, coupon code in the link below. Um, these ruck straps, you know, kind of help you pull off the weight from your shoulders on long rucks. And then I just have a little LED light here for long rucking at night. Um, so let's go ahead and get inside the bag, take a look at what comes inside of this. So when you first open up the bag on the Rucker series, now this will be a little bit different from this larger ruck at 25 liters versus their smaller ruck. This one here has two internal pockets. So when you open this up, and you can kind of see here, there's two pockets. This back pocket will fit any ruck plate on the market. The big three are uh, yes plates, 
Uh, they have the Titan Fitness plates, which I have a review. I'll link it up here. Um, and then you have the Gobrock plates as well. Uh, this will fit a long plate, 45, 30, whatever you want. Fits pretty long. And then this smaller pocket here, as you can see, will fit a smaller ruck plate, uh, more so like the, and you'll, they call them shorts, the, the 20s, the 10s, the 15s, whatever you want. So you can actually carry a 45 pound plate in the back if you wanted, you know, a 20 in the front to carry the weight. A little pro tip if you start doing the events, what I do is I'll tuck this Velcro here in the back and then I'll stick my ruck plate in it. And then on the top here, I will do a water bladder uh, that kind of holds this in here. Once again, look at the top of the screen. You'll see a link to that video if you wanted to watch it. Going into some of the differences now between the 3.0 and the 4.0, um, you can see this D-ring here. Uh, this is a 3.0 version. Now, if you look at the 4.0s, it has this D-ring and it has two more here on the sides of the bag. Um, I don't really think they're necessary. Uh, if that's a deal breaker for you, go with the 4.0. Um, this is something that the 3.0 has is just the top one. Other than that, the inside of the bag is identical to the 4.0. Now there is a few other differences here. Now, if we want to go ahead and I'm going to turn this to the side. If you look at the inside of the bag, it has two pouches. It has one here on the top. You know, you can throw in accessories like this. Uh, whatever else you want. On my rucking events, I'll end up doing a video. It's coming soon. And I'll show you how I pack this out for all of my events. Right now, it's pretty empty. On the top here, you know, you have this really large mesh pocket, uh, you know, to throw, you know, gloves, whatever you want in here. Um, and that's really the inside of the ruck. Now, on the 4.0, and this is why in the beginning of the video, I said I liked the 3.0. Here's why. The 3.0 has zippers on the interior, right? The 4.0 uh, does not. The 4.0 has Velcro. Now the Velcro, uh, go ruck switch to that in my opinion, is because it's more durable uh, for a rucking bag. If you start getting these filled with like water or salt water in the ocean, uh, you get sand in the zippers, they will end up failing. Now, one side of the note is, uh, go ruck scars warranties the bag 100% for life. So if you do break the zippers, send it to go ruck, they'll fix it, they'll send it back to you. Same thing with big tears, abrasions, anything like that, they'll fix it. Now the 4.0s, their Velcro, it's really hard to uh, break Velcro, right? So the Velcro, you know, just pulls open. Same interior structure though, looks the same. Um, if it's an everyday carry bag, zippers are the only way to go, get the 3.0. If you like the Velcro, you don't care, it's only gonna be for rucking, uh, then the 4.0 is not bad. Uh, but personally, I'm a little biased, but I like the 3.0 better. So that is a quick overview of the Go Ruck bag. Um, it also has, you know, a spot for the patch. And then here, you know, you can have patches here or there's Velcro where I have the other patches. Um, really quality zippers. All of these have shrink wrap, um, little pools, you know, nice and quiet. Really sturdy, really good bag. So let me know uh, if you guys have questions, but this is an overview of the Rucker 3.0. The handles, it's a really good rucking pack. Uh, you'll see too, sometimes they'll say, don't use this for everyday carry. There's nothing, there's no reason why you couldn't. Uh, if you can get past the handles and that doesn't just kill you uh, cosmetically for your everyday carry bag, this is a great bag. Uh, it's somewhat equal to the GR1 in my opinion. All right guys, so that's the in-depth review of the Go Ruck Rucker bag. Um, is it worth the money? That's a great question. It's coming in right around $225. Now you do have to pay shipping and tax on that. Uh, they do offer military discounts through GovX, I believe on the website. So if you are a military member, make sure you're using that. Uh, to buy it again, I would. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little steep for a bag. However, uh, you know, if you go look and compare it against an Amazon bag, they're around 50 bucks. Uh, but I'm telling you the comfortability, the straps, the durability, uh, it doesn't even compare to the Go Rug brand. So if you can fork up the money and purchase it, I would. I think the Rucker is a great bag. They have that lifetime warranty on scars. So if you get any abrasions, rips, tears, uh, send it to them, they'll replace it or repair it for free. So my final verdict is, uh, yeah, I, I absolutely would buy it again. Uh, one closing statement that I didn't mention before is this Rucker is a 25 liter. I'm 5'9", and it's right on the cutting point of being the perfect size and a little bit too big. So my recommendation is if you're below 5'9", maybe get the smaller Rucker version. If you're 5'9 or above, you're right on that teetering where a 25 liter uh, size bag will fit you perfect. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I have links down below to all the gear that I used in this video. Thank you.